Here we are on the final recap of the Beetlejuice My GM. We have Finn Balor, who was our champion last episode, lost the title, reclaimed it. He's now 6-3 and three and he's a two-time champion. We have the newly acquired Mickey James. Her first match won the women's title, so she's 1-0, and oh, one-time champion. Who would have thought last episode Hulk Hogan wins his first title, and it's a tag title. He's now 12-7, one-time tag champ, one-time MVP. And his partner, the man responsible for why they even had the tag match, Kane, he's 6-1, and one, one-time tag champ, one-time MVP. Peyton Royce, our current tag champ, she's 8-7, and seven, she's a two-time tag champ. The other half of our tag champs, Billy Kay at 9-13, and 13, two-time tag champ. Sasha Banks didn't wrestle last episode, so she stays at 13-9, and nine. she's still a three-time champ, but oh, we have an updated three-time MVP for her. Rhea Ripley at 15 and 10, two-time tag champ, two-time MVP. The man that surprised me that he's been doing so well in the GM mode, Jinder Mahal at 14 and 9, one-time tag champ, one-time MVP. We have Edge. I wanted to have him holding the title, but he lost his title against Finn Balor at the pay-per-view, so he's 12 and 11. He's a one-time champion. Shawn Michaels at 8 and 3 and a one-time MVP. Braun Strowman didn't wrestle last episode, it's happening, people just don't get matches, too many people. But he stays at 10 and 9, one time tag champ, one time MVP. Fandango at 10 and 9, one time tag champ. Damian Priest lost his tag title last episode, so now he's 8 and 5, one time tag champ. We have Eric at 9 and 6. We have the newly acquired The Rock at 3 and 2, he called his shot, said he's the great one, and immediately won a tag championship his first episode. Bailey at 9 and 9, two-time champion, two-time MVP. We have Randy Orton who has became the first male superstar to win all awards that we have in GM mode. Thanks to The Rock. The Rock wanted a match. I said, eh, give him Randy Orton. And now Randy Orton is 11 and 14, two-time WWE champion, one-time tag champ, and a three-time MVP. Our other wrestler who has accomplished all things you can win in the GM mode, Tony Storm at 10 and 15, one time women's champ, one time tag champ, tried to get her to win some more, but she just couldn't do it, and a one time MVP. And we have John Cena at 11 and 12, three time champion. We have Beth Phoenix, who, like Tony, tried to get her another tag title, did not work. She goes 5 and 6, one time tag champ, one time MVP. Raquel Gonzalez for the third straight episode did not get a single match, so she stays 7 and 8, one time MVP, once again. Tyler Breeze, who is angry at Beetlejuice at the moment, is 12 and 4 and a one time tag champ. We have Austin Theory, who, like Damien, lost his tag title in the last episode, who is now 2 and 5 and a one time tag champ. Scott Hall at 6 and 7. Macho Man Randy Savage at 2 and 3. We have the former tag team specialist, Drew Gulak, at 4 and 8. And the final wrestler from the last episode who didn't get to wrestle, Cedric Alexander, who stays at 5 and 12. We have Stone Cold Steve Austin who finally picked up his second win of the series and he is now 2 and 13. It is time for the Slapnut MVPs of the week. The male Slapnuts MVP of the week goes to Hollywood Hulk Hogan holding his tag team championship. I didn't have any more respect for Hulk Hogan. And this week we have co Slapnuts MVPs of the week and that goes to our current tag champs. That's right, we have Slapnuts MVPs that all of them are champions currently, the Iconics, Billy Kay, and Payne Royce. Iconic! Last episode we sent Cena to the spa, now we sent Randy. Starting off raw, we have a women's title match, Mickey James versus Bailey. Sasha Banks runs in, doesn't matter. Mickey James still wins, retains her title, starts a rivalry with Sasha. Beth Phoenix said no more Payne Royce, we gave her Billy Kay. Cena and Austin versus Kane and Hogan for the tag titles. Austin Theory runs in, costs them the match. Hogan and Kane retain their titles. Drew Gulak does some charity. Edge wanted a rematch for his WWE title against Finn. We gave it to him, and Edge reclaims what is his. Two-time champ. Gave Cedric a run-in just to see if we did something. Braun did charity. We have The Rock versus Shawn Michaels yet again. Continue the rivalry, and The Rock wins once again. On to SmackDown, Cobra Cut versus Tamina. Hell in a cell. They're loving these dangerous matches. They're loving their jobbers, and Tamina gets injured. Not surprised. We have Christina calling out China. Becky Lynch versus Reckoning. Think is she new? I don't think they've had Reckoning before. Don't remember. Becky Lynch starts a rivalry with Reckoning. Dexter does a promo. We have Roderick Strong versus Pete Dunn. One on one. Finally, no crazy matches. No one will get injured. Roderick wins. Mediocre match though. Natalia does a promo. Keep her safe. 
Asuka versus Sammy. Extreme rules match. I noticed Asuka has low stamina, but she's not injured. Sammy wins like we do. <laughs> Hell yeah, she loved that shit. We have some contracts running out. Shawn Michaels, he tells us he wants to come back. We say, sure, Shawn. Mickey James, who's our current champion, tells us her contract is up. We have to bring her back. She's the champ. So uh, Mickey James is happy. We're happy. Edge thanks us for the rematch. His stamina is at one. Thanks us for the rematch. And we tell him, hey, man, you're the champ now. You got it. And he loves it on Raw. Two-time champion. Stone Cold, he's upset that he lost his tag match against Hogan and Kane because Austin Theory, he wants a match. We say, you got it, Steve. On to Raw, tables match, Scott versus Cena, continuing their rivalry, and Cena gets revenge for the last episode, losing to Scott in a good match. Edge, we turn him into a bad guy because he's been good long enough, gave Austin what he wanted, one-on-one -on -one with Austin Theory, and he stuns the shit out of him and beats him in an okay match. Mickey James gets called out by Sasha Banks, and like I said, gave Beth Billy Kay because she didn't want uh, Peyton Royce, and Billy Kay picks up the win in a mediocre match. Payne Roy, speaking of her, does some charity. Eric versus Fandango, TLC match, continuing their rivalry, and Eric picks up the win. SmackDown starts off with a TLC tag match. Sammy and Shotzi versus Cora and Becky, and Cora and Becky pick up the win with Shotzi and Cora getting injured. They just don't care. Robert does a promo. Tag title match. Tomorrow and Asuka versus Mandy and Natalya, and tomorrow and Asuka pick up the win. But Natalya gets injured. That's just the injuries. Morrison calls out Titus. Dexter versus Brock. One-on-one. -on -one. Two beef buff men with blonde hair. And Dexter picks up the win. Maya does some charity. Rematch from last week. Pete Dunne versus Roderick Strong. One-on-one. -on -one. Pete Dunne picks up the win this time. Like we pick up the win. Wait a second, Pete. I don't play that shit, bro. Kane tells us his contract is running up, and so does Macho Man. We bring them both back on the roster. This is why we sign people permanently, not legends, because their contracts run out. Shawn Michaels wants a match in San Antonio. We give it to him. And The Rock wants a match at WrestleMania. Of course, the great one gets that. On to Raw, we have The Rock versus Shawn Michaels. The dream match that we never got that we we'll just keep on getting, and The Rock wins. Michael was on a hot streak, and he just ran into a rock, you could say. Huh? Braun Strowman does some charity. Stone Cold versus Edge for the WWE title. Stone Cold picks up the win and wins a championship. Who would have thought? Raquel Gonzalez does some charity. Mickey James versus Sasha Banks for the women's title. And Sasha Banks ends her undefeated streak and reclaims the title. Mickey gets injured, though. Payne Royce does some charity. Main event, we have Cena versus Scott Hall. They're tied one apiece. And Scott Hall breaks that tiebreaker and wins. On the SmackDown, we have Pete Dunne versus Roger Strong. TLC match. SmackDown just doesn't learn with all these hardcore matches, but no one gets injured, though. China calls out Christina this time. And then we have a rematch. Brock versus Dexter. Two big tattooed men yet again, and Dexter wins yet again in a mediocre match. Starts a rivalry. Maya does a promo. And then we have Reckoning versus Becky Lynch. They teamed, and now they're fighting, and Becky Lynch picks up the win in a mediocre match. Christina cuts a self promo. Now we have Titus versus John Morrison for the Universal title. And John Morrison wins the Universal title in a good match like we win. Thank you both. I'm the I have something. After winning her fourth women's title, Sasha Banks wants a main event match. And you got it, Sasha. You're the boss. Then we have Shawn Michaels saying The Rock keeps on beating him. He wants a new opponent. And we're going to do just that. We saw Mickey get injured. We're getting her right back. Michaels wanted a new opponent. We give him Stone Cold for the WWE title. Edge runs in. Doesn't matter. The Rattlesnake still picks up the win. Wanted Michaels versus The Rock for the title. Didn't get it. Tony Storm cuts a self-promo. Cena got a new tag partner with Randy Orton versus Hulk Hogan and Kane for the tag titles. Hogan and Kane pick up the win. Starts a rivalry. Damian Priest cuts a promo. Then we have Drew and Braun giving them some action against the Fashion Police in tag match. Fashion Police pick up the win. Fondango gets injured. Macho Man cuts a promo. And then we have Sasha Banks versus Mickey James one-on-one -on -one for the women's title. And Mickey James picks up the win and gets injured in the process. On to SmackDown, we have a rematch yet again. Pete Dunne versus Roderick Strong. Tables match, and Roderick Strong picks up the win after losing an amazing match. Dexter is tired of Brock, cuts a promo. Finally, we get Christina versus China after calling each other out, and China beats Christina, showing that she is the buffer woman. Cora Cut calls out Tamina. Reckoning versus Becky Lynch, rematch from last week, and Becky Lynch picks up yet another win in a disappointing match. Titus cuts a promo, upset he lost his title. Then we have Nia Jax, Asuka versus Tamina and Natalia. Nia Jax and Asuka pick up the win, and Asuka gets injured, but we win. I'm throwing 
my god, man! We have Raquel Gonzalez coming up to us telling us she wants to be on the pay-per-view. She wants to be at WrestleMania, and we haven't had her wrestle in over three episodes. I feel bad. Then we have Cedric who wants to team with The Rock, and we haven't had him wrestle in a while. And that series is almost over, so we tell him, sure, Cedric, you got it. I had to make a choice. Who gets to wrestle at WrestleMania? So we pick Mickey. On to WrestleMania. We have The Rock versus Shawn Michaels in a tables match, dream match. Mr. WrestleMania picks up revenge after all the losses The Rock gave him. Raquel Gonzalez wanted to be at Mania. We gave her a moment in a promo. Austin versus Edge, TLC match for the WWE title. Edge picks up the win. He started off slow, but look at him. He's champ to end the series. We have Scott Hall cutting a promo. Then we have Cena and Randy Orton. Tables match against Kane and Hogan for the tag titles. And Kane and Hogan pick up the win to end the series. You can kiss my ass. A lot of our wrestlers were getting injured towards the end. Not like SmackDown though. Billy Kay cuts a promo. Finn versus Macho Man. Extreme rules. Macho Man picks up the win. That should have been Eric versus Fandango. But Fandango got injured. Payne Royce cuts a promo. I wanted to get the tag champs in there. Mickey James versus Sasha Banks. Hell in a Cell for the title. Mickey James picks up the win and gets injured. On to SmackDown's WrestleMania, we have Titus versus John Morrison. Hell in a Cell for the Universal title. Titus picks up the win in a classic but gets injured. China cuts a self promo. Then we have Roderick Strong versus Pete Dunne. Tables match. These two have been going at it the last couple of weeks. Roderick Strong picks up the win in an amazing match. We have Sammy calling out Asuka. Then we have Brock versus Dexter. Extreme rules. This rivalry has been lackluster, but they do it anyway. Dexter picks up the win in a good match. Shotzi cuts a self promo. Then we have Tamina versus Tamara. Tables match. The rivalry that surprised us all. And Tamina picks up the win and gets injured in a mediocre match. Robert Roo cuts a self promo. Nia Jax versus Natalia. TLC. Very surprised. Becky Lynch is not on this card. Nia Jax picks up the win and Natalia gets injured. And we end the show winning. We did it. I have some Beatle notes. Him, he looks like a superstar. This is it. This is the end. We finished my GMO. We beat Stephanie McMahon. We beat SmackDown. I want to thank everyone who has watched from the beginning to end. There will be one more episode where I just do a final recap of everyone's records. And that will be it. Beetlejuice is gone. I'm leaving right now. I'm leaving right now. Well, the only person I miss is you. Oh, no. You see me again. Have a nice day, shithole!